Well, police in Philadelphia and Fort Worth are trying to sort out what led to deadly mass shootings in both cities. Fox's Mike Tobin has more on the violence that rocked those major cities less than 24 hours ago. A violent start to the July 4th holiday in Philadelphia. Police say multiple people are dead after a gunman armed with an AR-style rifle and wearing a bulletproof vest started shooting in the King Sessing neighborhood on Monday night. At least two children were injured. Authorities say one of the victims, a 31-year-old man, was found dead inside a home after likely being chased in there by the suspect. When a family member went inside, he found the son laying on the living room floor, unresponsive. The officer notified medics. Medics entered the property and pronounced that 31-year-old victim dead on the scene. Officers were flagged down around 8.30 p.m. and began rendering aid to victims who police say have no known connections to the alleged gunman. When officers heard more shots, they followed the gunfire and eventually cornered a 40-year-old suspect. He was taken into custody uh, without further incident. And in Fort Worth, Texas, at least three people were killed and eight others injured after a neighborhood July 4th festival. Investigators now asking anyone with additional information or video from the time of the shooting to come forward. A lot of vehicle traffic, a lot of foot traffic. Uh, as you can tell, still fireworks were being shot off. Uh, lots of people just trying to flee the area from the multiple gunshots. So it was difficult for them to navigate quickly into the area. And today in Highland Park, Illinois, survivors will remember seven people killed when a gunman opened fire on a July 4th parade there. In Chicago, Mike Tobin, Fox News.